This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. He's looking in a file drawer. B. He's printing some documents. C. He's stacking some folders. D. He's putting on his glasses. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. Some people are sitting in a car. B. Some people are facing each other. C. A woman is opening her handbag. D. A man is removing his jacket. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. Clothing is hanging on racks. B. Lights have been turned off in the store. C. A woman is folding a coat. D. A woman is opening a garment bag. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. Some armchairs are occupied. B. Books and magazines have been arranged on shelves. C. A gate has been placed at the bottom of a stairway. D. A painting has been left on the floor. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. A flag is being raised on a pole. B. A ship is approaching a pier. C. Some people are walking toward a boat. D. Some workers are sweeping a dock. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A man is putting up a metal barrier. B. Some people are boarding a bus. C. A cart is being loaded with bricks. D. A wheelbarrow is being pushed to the work site. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. What floor is the seminar on? A. The fifth. B. About marketing. 
C. At 9.30 tomorrow. Number 8. Where are the new printers being made? A. Mr. Cruz printed them already. B. In Toronto. C. $800. Number 9. Isn't Takashi coming to the concert with us? A. In the front row. B. No, he's too busy. C. I have your ticket right here. Number 10. When should we ship this order? A. Shipping is free. B. That's a really short time. C. The customer just cancelled it. Number 11. The storage closet is locked, isn't it? A. Yes, but I'll give you the key. B. There should be more in there. C. Please close it. Number 12. Do I need to use a microphone to give my speech? A. Right after lunch is served. B. The room is quite small. C. It was really well written. Number 13. Why did Marie leave early yesterday? A. Can you read it again? B. Around 4 p.m. C. She had a dentist appointment. Number 14. Would you like me to write up the contract now? A. Yes, that'd be great. B. She's probably right. C. An email address. Number 15. Can I borrow that book after you're finished with it? A. Louise asked me first. B. At the public library. C. I checked it twice. Number 16. Who's responsible for booking Mr. Chung's flights? A. Next Monday. B. Yes, it's on the calendar. C. Sasha will make the arrangements. Number 17. Have we been selling more orange juice or apple juice? A. About the same of both. B. I'll have a glass with breakfast. C. Next to the milk. Number 18. When is the new intern's first day? A. I'm not in charge of the interns this year. B. She was the first to submit her application. C. Six o'clock each night. Number 19. Has Ms. Medrano been to the doctor's office yet? A. No, her appointment isn't until noon. B. Thanks, I'm feeling much better. C. I'll probably wait in the lobby. Number 20. Would you like indoor or outdoor seating? A. It's a very comfortable chair. B. Isn't it supposed to rain? C. The doors are opening. Number 21. Ms. Balani has the copies of the annual report, doesn't she? A. A yearly salary increase. B. Let's look on her desk. C. It was a good offer. Number 22. What do you think of the updated vacation policy? A. I have one too. B. Three weeks in July. C. I like how flexible it is.
Number 23. Didn't Emir move to the corner office? A. The bakery is around the corner. B. Yes, I saw him in there this morning. C. I know a good moving company. Number 24. Can we hire more staff? A. No, it's not in the budget this quarter. B. I think it's on the lower shelf. C. Several new resumes. Number 25. How do you turn on the air conditioning in this office? A. Yes, I believe so. B. Just about 18 degrees. C. Oh, I can open a window for you. Number 26. This email from Mr. Robertson is rather unclear. A. Yesterday afternoon. B. I didn't understand it either. C. At the post office downtown. Number 27. What was the topic of yesterday's workshop? A. In the main room of the conference center. B. A lot of people attended. C. I was meeting with clients all day. Number 28. Why don't we finish discussing this after lunch? A. They're on the third floor. B. Sure, I'll come back then. C. No, just a chicken sandwich. Number 29. Could you work my shift on Monday night? A. Did you ask the manager first? B. It's working fine now. C. Last week, I think. Number 30. I just received the weekly marketing report. A. I prefer the supermarket on North Street. B. The market data was quite surprising. C. He's away on business. Number 31. Have the maintenance workers fixed the water leak in apartment 7B? A. The call came from apartment 9A. B. Some new tools. C. How long did that take? Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Welcome to Metropolitan TV. My name's Naomi, and I'm in charge of your new employee orientation here at the television studio. I'll show you around and then introduce you to your manager. Thanks. I'm excited to work in the entertainment industry. This is a whole new aspect of accounting for me. Great. Now, this is where you'll be working. All of the other accountants work in offices in this hall, too, as do the directors of the shows. I like this area. It's not noisy at all. Yes, we try to keep this part of the building quiet so the people with offices here can focus on their work. Number 32. What does the company most likely produce? Number 33. What department will the man work in? Number 34. What does the man like about his work area?
Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hello, welcome to the Kleinston Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, I'm Chris Wattener from Trueville Development Corporation. I reserved your large meeting room for this afternoon. My colleague and I want to get everything in order before the three o'clock start time. Ah, yes, I see your name right here. I just need to see some identification, please. All right. Here's my ID. Is that all? Wait, Chris. Don't forget that we reserved 50 chairs, but we're going to need more. Thanks for the reminder. Would it be possible to have 15 more chairs brought to the meeting room? Absolutely. I'll call maintenance and ask them to deliver the chairs right away. Number 35. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 36. What does the man need to provide? Number 37. What do the visitors ask for? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Wow, look at all these people. Is this train always so crowded? Not usually. The football championship is this afternoon. Let's walk to the back of the train. Should be a lot of empty seats there. Thanks for coming with me, by the way. I need to buy a new suit and shirt for a lecture I'm giving, and I'm not very good at shopping for clothes, especially in the city. Don't worry. I know some great stores downtown. Number 38. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number 39. Why does the woman say, The football championship is this afternoon. Number 40. What does the man say he needs to purchase? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Ms. Chen. I'm calling from Industry Ovens Incorporated. I apologize, but the oven you had ordered was accidentally left off of this morning's delivery schedule. We caught the oversight after the trucks had departed on their routes. This is not good news. Two days from now, on Friday, my bakery is going to be visited by a safety inspector. The new oven must be installed in time so that the bakery can pass inspection. Hmm. That doesn't leave us with much time. Please give me a second. I'm going to connect you with my supervisor. I'm sure she'll be able to help you meet your deadline. Number 41. What problem does the man mention? Number 42. What does the woman say is planned for Friday? Number 43. What does the man say he will do? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Fatima, do you remember the survey our health clinic sent out last month? Oh yes, the one asking patients to rate their experiences here. What were the results? Well, almost everyone wanted more time to talk to the doctors and nurses during their visits. Right now, doctors and nurses spend about 10 minutes with each patient. Do you think we can increase it to 15 minutes per patient? That would require significant revisions to our scheduling process. It'll be up to the members of the board to decide. Number 44. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 45. 
What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 46. What does the woman imply when she says, That would require significant revisions to our scheduling process. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Antonio, were you at yesterday's all-staff meeting? It was during... Uh, I was on the phone with an important client and couldn't make it. Mm-hmm. You got a copy of the meeting minutes. Yeah, but the part about how to get reimbursed for travel expenses was really confusing. Do you know if there's more documentation on that? Oh, you printed out the minutes. If you look at them electronically, you'll see there's a, there's a link to our internal website where you can find more details on reimbursement procedures. Number 47. Why did the woman miss a meeting? Number 48. What is the woman confused about? Number 49. According to the man, what should the woman do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Our next guest on today's show is part of our Healthy Cooking series. I'd like to welcome nutritionist Amelia Vigo. Amelia, what have you got for us today? I'd like to tell you about some simple tricks for making nutritious meals at home by substituting healthier ingredients for less healthy ones in your favourite recipes. Now, you said this was simple. I'm no cook. Do you think I can do it? Absolutely. Let's take an old classic, like potato soup, for example. You can use sweet potatoes as a more nutritious substitute for white potatoes. That recipe and more are in my new book. Healthy Family Cooking. Number 50. What is the woman an expert in? Number 51. What does the woman recommend? Number 52. According to the woman, where can listeners find more information? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. To sum up, Jamal, you've had another very good year here with us. You're a valuable member of the team, which is why you consistently receive outstanding performance reviews from other staff members. I've certainly enjoyed the opportunities that I've had while working here. Which is great to hear, because we'd like you to take on more responsibility. We're opening an office in Denver in a few months, and we'd like you to manage it. Wow, that's exciting. But can I have some time to consider it? Of course. Why don't we get together next week to discuss your decision? Number 53. What does the woman say about the man's job performance? Number 54. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 55. When will the speakers meet again? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi, Tricia. Hi, Alison. How are the training materials for the summer interns coming along? They'll be starting in two weeks, so I'd like to see the materials by Friday. Sure, no problem. By the way, Alison revised the section about the interns' work hours, so it's easier for the interns to understand. Thanks, Alison. There were some questions last year about interns' schedules, 
It'll be good to have everything stated clearly this time. Yes, and I also added more information explaining the kinds of software products the interns will be working on. Terrific. We've got some great projects planned, and I'm glad you prepared everything so carefully. Number 56. What does the man ask the women about? Number 57. What does the man say about last year's internship program? Number 58. What does the man say he is pleased about? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Ms. Lee. I understand you'd like my agency to design a new advertising campaign for your moving company. Yes. We're concerned because another moving company just opened nearby, and we're starting to feel the effects of the competition. Business hasn't been as good since then. I see. It would help if I got a better sense of what customers like about your company. That's something we can emphasize throughout the campaign. Well, people say they appreciate our top-notch customer service and the effort we make to meet customers' expectations. I'm sure no other moving service in the area can claim that. Number 59. What type of business does the woman work for? Number 60. What is the woman concerned about? Number 61. What does the woman emphasize about her company? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and list. Hi, Haruto. Have you picked the caterer for the shareholders meeting? We want everything to go smoothly. I haven't decided yet, but I've got quotes from a few local caterers. Our budget's pretty tight, so I'm leaning towards Star Restaurant. They have the least expensive lunch service. You know, I've had problems with Star Restaurant. I hired them to cater a meal for a management meeting last month, and they delivered the food an hour late. I just don't want a delay like that to happen during this meeting. You can spend a little more money if you need to. Oh, I'm so glad you told me. Then let's go with Golden Eagle. Number 62. What type of event are the speakers discussing? Number 63. What problem did the woman experience with one of the restaurants? Number 64. Look at the graphic. How much will the lunch most likely cost? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. Welcome to the Peterson Art Museum. Can I help you? I'm supposed to meet some friends in the 19th century painting gallery. Can you tell me where it's located? Here, this pamphlet will help. There's a map of the museum in it with details for finding our painting exhibits. Anything else? Yes. I heard there's a workshop on watercolour painting this summer. Yes. You can register for the workshop right here if you'd like. I'd better come back to do that. My friends are waiting for me. Of course. Oh, and I'd recommend taking the stairs at the back of the museum. There are always so many people using the main stairs by the front entrance. Number 65. Look at the graphic. On which floor will the man meet his friends?
Number 66. What will happen at the museum this summer? Number 67. Why does the woman suggest using the stairs at the back of the museum? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and pie chart. Next, let's discuss our spring hiring plan. In the past, we've been successful by recruiting at university career fairs, but I'd like to do something different this time. Really? Why's that? Well, our employees spend so much time traveling to different universities that they fall behind on other important projects. Good point. We could put more of our resources into our second most effective recruiting method. Actually, more than a quarter of our employees were recruited that way. That's exactly what I was thinking. Would you set up a meeting with Yukiko in public relations and explore possibilities for expanding last year's campaign? Number 68. What does the woman want to do? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which method does the man suggest using? Number 70. What does the woman suggest the man do? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Good morning, everyone. We hope you've been enjoying the conference on educational technology this week. Tomorrow, in addition to our workshops and presentations, you'll have the option of leaving the convention center to go on one of the site visits we've arranged. There are two choices. You can tour either a local high school or the public library's computer laboratory. These tours are free, and we expect them to be very popular. We have limited seats on the buses, so please make sure to sign up early at the desk by the entrance. Number 71. At which event is the announcement being made? Number 72. According to the speaker, what can some listeners do tomorrow? Number 73. What are the listeners instructed to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Today I want to focus our discussion on Castillo, a clothing brand we will start selling in our stores next month. As you know, our stores attract mainly younger shoppers. In thinking about fashion trends we want to feature, the marketing department has found that customers aged 12 to 18 prefer styles that come in a lot of different colours. We chose Castillo as a new vendor for this very reason. Just look at the colour selection in these samples. Now, the finances of carrying Castillo's line. Hiram will go over the anticipated costs and profit estimates. Number 74. What product does Castillo manufacture? Number 75. Why does the speaker say, Just look at the color selection in these samples. Number 76. What will Hiram do? Number 
questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Before we open the cafe today, I want to tell you about some seasonal menu changes. I just got word from corporate headquarters that new coffee beverages will be on the menu starting next week. One of the new drinks is called Winter Delight. I've got some samples of it here for everyone to try. Now, a number of different syrup flavors, such as vanilla or hazelnut, can be added to this drink. So please be extra careful when you're preparing customers' orders. We want to make sure they get exactly what they want. Number 77. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 78. According to the speaker, what will happen next week? Number 79. What does the speaker warn listeners about? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Roberto. It's Amanda. The company president wants J1 Electronics to have a booth at the trade fair in New York in June, and he wants us to make the arrangements and come up with a display. I know I said we really need to focus on updating the client database this week, but this trip just came up. It wasn't my idea. Anyway... I'll get the rest of the sales team together today so we can brainstorm some ideas for the display. But in the meantime, could you contact the fair organizers about getting a booth? Thanks, and let me know if you have any questions. Number 80. Why is the speaker calling? Number 81. What does the speaker imply when she says, It wasn't my idea. Number 82. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following recorded message. You have reached customer service at Ocean Shipping, a leader in international shipping services. We're happy to announce that starting June 1st, we'll begin offering shipping services to Brazil. Note that if you are planning to ship a vehicle to any location overseas, you must provide proof of ownership. Your call may be recorded, and the recording could be used for quality control or training purposes. Thank you for calling Ocean Shipping. Number 83. What will the company do beginning on June 1st? Number 84. According to the speaker, what must customers do in order to ship a vehicle? Number 85. What does the speaker indicate about the call? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. Hello everyone and welcome to Markell County Playhouse. Thank you for volunteering to help make costumes for our next production, Changing Time. Because this play has so many characters, we'll have to work hard to get ready for opening night on April 12th. Each character has about three different outfits, so that's a lot of sewing for all of us. The dress rehearsal in complete costume is only five weeks away, so we'll need everything done by then. Number 86. Who is the intended audience for the talk? Number 87. What does the speaker mention about the play? Number 88. 
Number 88. What will take place in five weeks? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Pierre. This is Emma. I know we were supposed to meet in the conference room at 9 this morning to begin discussing the renovations to the lobby, but I'm calling to let you know I'm having a problem with transportation. I was at the train station when train service was suspended. Now I'm going to find a taxi, but it may take a while before I get to the office. Why don't we go out to lunch today instead? I hope this will work for you, because I have some ideas for the project that I'd like to talk about. Number 89. What was the speaker supposed to do this morning? Number 90. What transportation problem does the speaker mention? Number 91. What does the speaker suggest? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Thanks for inviting me to your annual planning meeting. We're glad that you're considering us to meet the energy needs of your factory. My company, Stillman Technology, is committed to providing renewable energy to businesses like yours. By choosing to install our solar panels, you can power all your facilities with affordable, clean energy, and hundreds of businesses have signed up. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first, I'd like to show a video of a speech our president gave when we received the Eco Industry Award at a conference last year. Number 92. What industry does the speaker work in? Number 93. What does the speaker imply when he says, Hundreds of businesses have signed up. Number 94. What will the listeners see in the video? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and survey. Hello, this is Fred Capo from Member Relations at Greenwood Gym. I just wanted to thank you for participating in our member survey. Everyone who completed a survey will receive a $5 voucher which can be used for any class fees or in our cafe. I've already sent it to your email. Also, looking at your feedback, I see that you've given very high ratings overall for our gym. Thank you. For the category that you gave five stars to, I'd like to ask you a few more questions. If you have time, please give me a call back at 555-0184. Number 95. Who is the message most likely for? Number 96. What does the speaker say he has emailed the listener? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Which category does the speaker request more information about? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following talk and diagram. Welcome to today's class on small business startups. We'll be talking about designing a logo that represents the company you're creating. It's how customers will identify you, so the first thing you should do is consider the message you want to communicate. Please take a look at the handout in front of you. We'll talk about each of the features, but let's begin by looking at the phrase creative advertising at your fingertips. The function of this part of the logo is to tell customers what the company is all about. Now, try to come up with phrases that might work for your own business. You'll find some paper and pens in your packets.
Number 98. Where is the talk most likely taking place? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which part of the logo does the speaker discuss first? Number 100. What will the listeners do next? This is the end of the listening test. End of recording.